Hello everybody! Welcome, welcome lovelies! Welcome back to my channel, Fashionably Fake in Georgia. Today I'm going to be um, discussing what is done with an amputated limb. Um, which is a, it's a valid question. Um, I know when, um, before they amputated my leg, or I just like to say cut off, uh, my family members don't like when I say cut off, but basically amputation is just a nicer word for saying cut off or hacked off. So basically before they even, um, did the amputation on me, like weeks before they actually told me, um, that I was not going to get the leg back and um, that it would be tested um, at infectious diseases and then it would be taken to biohazard and incinerated. Makes sense to me. So in what, in what circumstance would they give you your leg back or your arm or anything that's been amputated? Well, in rare cases I read, if it's for a religious reason, they will give you your limb back so that you can bury it. Because in, um, I guess in some religions, I'm not sure which one, maybe Muslim, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. If you know, please comment down below. Um, they need all their body parts um, to be buried. So whether it's an eye, which I saw that on a episode of Criminal Minds, that the killer was taking the eyes and then the sister of the victim said, please find her eyes and um, we need them to bury her. So in that rare case of religious circumstances, they might give you your body parts back. And I was just reading um, about a case where this young man who had a club foot, I think it was in England, I'm not sure, um, but he had his um, leg amputated and he wanted it back. And because there was no um, infection-based amputation, unlike mine, mine was, infection based and they had to kind of dissect it and look at it and which is kind of funny um but in his case it was a club foot he got it amputated and they told him okay you can take it as long as we can trace that there is no biohazard that's going to happen and you can bury it in your backyard but he he did not want to bury it in his backyard so they actually buried it in a cemetery where eventually if he if he dies he will be buried with that leg but that was just his personal preference that he wanted that leg himself if i had the opportunity to get my leg back would i i don't i don't think so i think to me it would just be a reminder of what i had lost um, I wouldn't want it buried in my backyard. We have a lot of animals in this neighborhood, dogs, bears. <laughs> can you just imagine, you know, I can see a dog from my window walking away with my life. <laughs> no, 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 no. So mine was due to infection. So they did um, test it and it did go to biohazard and it was incinerated. So that's what happened with my limb. So yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. Um, some people want their stuff back. I know like a lot of people who have gallbladder surgery, on um, they actually take the little stones back with them. I guess as, see, I got it out. That's what was causing me so much pain, but I'm like, it's gone, it's gone. I want to heal. And I don't want to be reminded of it. Of course, with my amputation, I'm reminded every day of my loss. But it's just the way it is. This is my new normal, guys. As you can see, I have a little group back there. Isn't he adorable? I just love him. Now I just need a baby Yoda. I put lights around him. He's so cute. He's so cute. I just love him. All right, guys. Well, that's all I wanted to talk to you about today. Thank you for subscribing. Please like. Um, push that notification buttons if you want, and I will be back soon. Have a lovely day. Bye. Hi, I just wanted to add that once I reach 100 subscribers, I will be doing a Q&A. So if you have any questions regarding amputation or 
interested in anything that I do differently, um, please ask below and I will compile a list of questions and I will answer them on another video. Thank you. Bye.